Can you video now? It's on video. I'm popping it to you. Alrighty. Seems to be a little better on the sound. Let's hope it records better. <laughs> Much better on the sound, really? Oh, it was. <laughs> the video's... I'm looking at myself here because I'm on this side. Yeah, the video's better on the other one. What? It's like the video seems to be better on the other one. It's like your white balance is weird here. You're all willow. Oh, yeah, because this is the old camera. It's not HD or anything. All right. I'm trying to see if, if the HD is the Is the issue? issue. Yeah, because yeah, I don't get it. Right. You know what? I think Skype is the issue. <laughs> Maybe so. Maybe so, because when, I use, when I've used Yahoo Messenger, I've never run into Issues like this. <laughs> so. <laughs> anyway, uh, what's 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 other stuff? Um, oh, let's see. It's like Nokia's got a new phone we're doing. Um, there, there's. Uh, this is half political, but there's some interesting legislation before where basically the copyright and the copy left people are fighting this. They basically want to spy on internet activity and log it to make sure you're not streaming or sharing um, stuff you're not supposed to. Uh, this has been passed around several times, you know, between the NSA tapping us and everything else. What's one more person looking at everything we do online? You know, it's just, it's almost gotten sad at this point. Um, it, Economically speaking, PayPal will be your space currency. <laughs> I'm not kidding. PayPal has actually made efforts to branch out into space. We got the people ready to go to Mars and everything else, or at least the, the quest for that mission. PayPal is beginning steps to plan its interplanetary interstellar um, commerce system and how it does. It basically wants to set itself up as your space bucks. Um, I, a little ambitious, in my opinion, at this point, PayPal, but smart, because realistically, sometime this century, with some of the stuff we have going on, it's probably going to become necessary for inter-commerce to happen, or we have space hotels planned to be built this um, century, we have plans for doing the beginnings of colonizing Mars, if they can get that off the ground and other things, and I guess people are going to want to send their money back home or get it from, or I, I don't know. To, it, you, think you think it's a good idea, you think it's more for show to make people remember PayPal, you think it's being proactive. It, uh, it's not going to be the currency. You, you think whether they want to other stuff. I don't care. Well, I mean, we're not there yet, so it's nice. That all, they, they really have to rely on an internet connection to Mars, essentially. <laughs> if you build the fiber, if you build the fiber optics, it will work. <laughs> I don't know. Well, just, that's good that they envision it. I, I always love the prospect uh, of us going to space. I, I'm not. I, I I like the idea that we're planning to start colonizing Mars. There's a few technologies I want to exist before I decide I want to explore space. <laughs> Na namely, I want clone meat perfected. I want artificial gravity of some sort available to me so I can keep my body in a 1G environment that it likes. <laughs> and that's gonna be the that's gonna be the hardest. Piece. When we start living elsewhere, people don't realize that is that uh, if you live in anything um, uh, less than the Earth, and you come here for a visit, it'll crush you because you're. I mean, I don't. I, it'll take a few generations, of course, but but you're if you're born and we keep you know and, and our bodies adapt to less weight, your body will not. We'll, we'll literally go, what the hell, when it hits a high Yeah, and the, 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 there's, there's the gravity, and there's the atmosphere 
conditions and it, uh, now you can make adjustments for the atmosphere but the gravity at it's hard yeah, yeah it, it's so yeah I, I want a normal force in my body and a normal force with a 95 percent of 1g you know it's <laughs> Preferably 98%, but I would settle for 95%. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, for anybody who still remembers, Yahoo's finally killing Alta Vista. <laughs> I, like, I, I, I saw this story and I'm like, I officially feel old. That's cool you found that. Because cool. <laughs> yeah, I remember Alta Vista. I it, was, it was the thingy. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm old now. <laughs> All the young people are like, Alta Vista? What's that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hot and all that stuff. Oh. oh my goodness. Back in the day. Back in the day. Uh. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know anything about these Google Glass. Uh, basically, what uh, basically what they are is, is they're... Uh, you, you remember like the Virtual Boy technology? It's a more... Basically there's this little lens. Uh, that's about uh, an inch by uh, a centimeter or so, which is like literally almost right on your eye. Uh, basically Google Glass. And it, it's like a heads-up display thing, and it, it augments with Google platforms and, and Android and other things. But basically, it's using the uh, eye recognition technology, so it tracks the little tiny movements of your pupil around for the UI. It's really intuitive, but it's not really a commercially viable product yet. It's something being developed by Google engineers and Google labs and, and kind of being taken out in, the, out in the wild to see how it performs and, and try and perfect it. So it, are people buying this? Right and now? No, they can't or buy it right. The program? They can't buy it right now. It's basically in Google prototype stage right now. Uh, right, now right, right, but there are obviously people out in the wild using it. I mean, it, it, it's more Google engineers and a few select developers right now. In, in the same way, uh, the the uh, thing we now have on all our Android phones and, and other Google service things where we can take a picture of something and it tells us where we are because of all the Google Earth data. You know, they, they spent about five years before that was released perfecting that technology. Google Glass is another such project. Uh, ultimately, they'll be providing a heads-up display glasses type product to people, rather it will be pure software, they'll actually provide hardware to augment Android or uh, Chrome OS devices, nobody really knows, and I don't think they even know yet. They're just, they have the money, they have the capital to do it, so they're perfecting the technology. And it's got some cool implications, I mean, it, especially since it works off the eye tracking stuff, like if you're cooking, and that, that's what this particular story is about. You'll just put your glasses on and wear it, and as, you're, as you get to the end of the page, it'll flip to the next recipe, and you're not touching anything. You're just looking at the stove. It sees when you grab the flour. And it, interesting technology. Very prototypey right now. And it's like it's not any, any way, shape, or form a commercially viable product yet, but developers are going nuts for this shit. They're just they're like, they want to get their hands on as much of it as they can, start making the software for it. Because it, it's probably a product that will do very well, provided consumers don't freak out about it. You know, Google has made some bad comments on it. Like when privacy concerns were brought up recently against Google, they said, well, all our Google Glass testers feel perfectly comfortable walking into the bathroom with it, and that's recording everything they do. You know, not the best defense, really, to, <laughs> you know, people forget they have them on and just... Oh, well, there you are on the internet. That's just, uh, um, it, it, it has implications in a lot of ways. It's, but, yeah, it, 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 cool tech. It, it, this stuff has to be, you don't, you don't, well, you don't just flip a, you don't just flip a switch and develop this stuff. You can say the same thing for the Microsoft Surface stuff you like, and the idea of turning walls into screens that all work with each other. This technology has to be prototyped before it's released sure. in the wild. You, you don't just, throw it out there as a product. It's Take, neat though that Google then is, is letting news, I suppose, follow it. 
it's, it's such I, early stages. I, I, at this point, I think it's smart PR on Google's part because they're getting a flag because of late of violating their don't be evil thing. So I think they're trying to be more open in what they used to historically be much more secretive than Apple. You know, literally, you found out Google had been working on something for years when they shoved it on the world. Now they're like, hey, we're working on this. We're doing this. It's like, hey, we're not the evil ones. We're the ones creating the technology of tomorrow. <laughs> That's, I think it's a PR campaign more than anything that they're being yeah. this open. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's it's smart business to do it, and, and admittedly, as of like Google is being a little more evil. You know, they're they're not being the altruistic company they used to be, but they are having to do alternative monetization. So it's a fine line for them. That that's that, that they're going to have a lot of growing pains as they do this, and I can't decide if I like or hate it, to be quite honest. Not just on this particular product, but the change that's been going on with Google. I mean, more and more. I don't like the real ID thing they're going for. I, I don't like in the unified account that goes with it. I don't like the fact that uh, more and more Google services seem to just only want to work right if they're in Chrome. And, and it's just that they're, they're really walking some fine lines here that could really put them on the wrong side. Now. Google remove all blogger sites that monetize adult content. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Speaking of violating the don't be evil, yeah, they, um, when does this go into effect? It's uh, June 30th. Yeah, which means it went into effect just a few days ago. Uh, basically, it, it's not just are you an adult site, but if anywhere on your site is a link to what they've deemed a bad site, Boom, they pull your site. You're not allowed to reference, talk to, talk about. It literally, it's complete censorship. They said, this does not exist on the internet. Why? I don't understand. What is the motor plan? I don't understand. We're not getting an answer out of them. It's basically an ultimatum out of Google. I think that is not like television where you have premium cables, you know, uh, it, it's so all parents that if we don't with our kids, like I, I, I control my kids' visit, and it's like I do on the TV too. I, 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 I honestly, I, it's a very Jobsian like thing. You remember when Jobs went, I was like, they'll never be poured on the iPhones and so it, It's almost a reaction like that. It's like they don't want Blogger to have this reputation, so they, they will unilaterally just sanitize Blogger from it. Which, I, I, yeah, it, it, it really, I get where their head's at and that they want to be, oh, we're the good guys, we're family friendly, but the way they're going about it basically just proves they are the evil overlords everybody's afraid they're going to turn into. I don't know why this country is so, like, I guess, what's a good word, sexophobic. Sexophobic is a very good word for it. If for some reason we can't get over the taboo of tatas, it's, we just, it's... <laughs> We can say save the Tatas, but we can't acknowledge that there are Tatas. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, man. Well, I didn't know that YouTube uh, was in partnership with Vivo. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's going to piss a shitload of people off. A lot of people ran the Vivo to get away from Google. Yep. YouTube has confirmed that it has signed an extension to its content partnership with Vivo. Ending speculation about the two video sites relationship. In addition, YouTube invested in an undisclosed sum in the company, as was speculated in January this year. Confirmation of the new multi-year deal was first reported by Billboard via The Verge. And while YouTube has not disclosed the value of its investment in uh, Vivo, the media news site puts it at about $40 million to $50 million. That, it says, will give Google own YouTube a 7% stake its leading video part. So a YouTube spoke to confirm the deal, uh, which replaces the temporary arrangement that the two firms had in place since their previous contract contract lapsed in, in April. Uh, the deal had been rumored since uh, earlier this year, but prior to that, Vivo was thought to be exploring other possibilities, which were said to have included a possible alliance with Facebook. 
know over the existing relationship with YouTube is well established and it isn't a surprise to see the deal finally confirmed. Win for YouTube, suck for the user. So, 